Hello, my fire sign babies. So this is going to be the collective video for the weekly reading for February 20th through February 26th. Take what resonates, leave the rest. So for this week's collective crystal, I picked selenite. I always go with selenite when it comes to cleansing, when it comes to um, getting rid of old things, bringing in the new. Um, the beautiful thing about selenite is that it cleanses itself. It charges itself. And I feel like collectively, um, all zodiac signs have been doing that. Like you have been cleaning, clean, cleaning out your own closet. You have been cleansing yourself. You have been like truly working on things. Um, especially like when it comes to personal relationships, when it comes to jobs, when it comes to anything that is uh, dear to you on what you want to clear out. And it's like nobody is depending on anybody else right now. It's like a sense of just truly handling things on your own. So when it comes to uh, selenite, it's, it's a really good cleanser type crystal. So with that being said, um, everything you need to know about me is down below in the description box. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning uh, watcher, thank you for watching. I do appreciate you. And um, let's see, donation links are down below. Um, my Amazon link is down below. My Etsy store is down below. All that stuff. Uh, social media platforms, all that good stuff. And um, for those who have sent me gifts and presents and all that beautiful stuff, thank you so much. I do appreciate you. If you do uh, send something, make sure that you put your name with it uh, so I can thank you properly. So, um, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started with Aries. Hi, Aries. Aries, take what resonates to leave the rest. Spirit, what do you got for my Aries babies for this week of February 20th? All right, so the Four of Wands. So some of you could be going through some kind of transition, some kind of celebration, some kind of um, gathering with family and friends. We do have the Three of Pentacles. I feel like uh, you could be building some kind of, um, hmm, we also have the Four of Swords. Okay. And the Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely a new beginning that is coming out here. Um, this could be financial stability. Some of you could be getting a new job. Um, maybe you've been working hard on a promotion or maybe you are looking to open up a new business for yourself. We also have the Knight of Cups. If this is business related for you, this is something that you love to do. So there's a sense of some kind of uh, celebration, some kind of victory. Um, with you trying to collaborate with somebody when it comes to money, business ideas, I feel like if you're throwing um, ideas back and forth, you're kind of resigning to um, maybe wanting to hear the person that is speaking to you. Maybe you're wanting to hear advice and so you're just kind of standing down a little bit in order to get that advice or in order to hear what the other person is saying. We do have the Ace of Pentacles where um, it's a new abundant start um now keep in mind that abundance and prosperity that sometimes that's not necessarily monetary but pinnacles is all about money 
um, is all about that foundation, that stability. I feel like uh, you're trying to make things more solid in your life. We do have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups um, is something that's like a small offer of love or emotion. So this very well could be something that you're working towards or something that you're working on. And it's something that you love. It's like um, with the Pentacles, I feel like you're resigning to this new beginning of making things happen. And sometimes that's the best thing that we can do, Aries, because it's like, sometimes you're working hard and you're like, okay, I'm working hard. And sometimes you could be working too hard. Um, so seeing the Four of Swords, it's actually kind of a, um, it's actually kind of like, um, refreshing type of energy uh for you because it's almost like something that is coming to you that you're you're not having to work hard for it's something that's coming naturally and that's actually a beautiful thing um the last card that i picked was the five of pentacles the reason one thing about the five of pentacles okay so if you're resigning to somebody else's idea like if somebody is coming in and they're talking about things and and this, that, and the other, and you're resigning to listening to their ideas. The Five of Pentacles is making sure that you are heard. Make sure that you're heard. Make sure that you're not being neglected. Make sure that you're not standing alone in a certain situation. And um, just handle things. Um, you don't have to resign entirely to like somebody else's ideas. Or um, you don't have to to totally bend and let somebody else have their way. This is a reminder to stand your ground, have your boundaries and say, okay, I hear you, but here is my thought as well. And it's, it's with the three of Pentacles, it's about having that, that equal give and take on the collaboration of what you're trying to bring together. So we are going to pull some Oracle message cards and see what else spirit has to say for your week. deck it feels so smooth all right spirit what other messages do you have for my airy babies okay we do have the magician and we have home so with all these pinnacles i feel like you could be um you definitely could be trying to manifest a better job maybe you're trying to save for a home or maybe you're trying to make things more stable at home um Time. So this is a reminder that things are just going to take time. Having to uh, keep patience, um, have patience in a certain situation, that could be extremely helpful. And we also have mother. So you could be dealing with somebody who is a mother or you could be dealing with your mother. But this is also a, a reminder to kind of take care of what it is that you're trying to build. This is a nest egg, okay? So it's like, I feel as if you are trying to build some kind of foundation, build some kind of home, build something that is going to be for your greater good, some kind of security. Um, but you are definitely manifesting this and your manifestations that they are gonna, they are going to come to fruition is just taking, um, it's just having patience with it. Know that it's gonna take time, know that, it's going to be something that is wonderful, that is great, but it might take some time or it might take some build up. It might take some extra hard work, but this is something, you know, this reminds me of the Knight of Cups because, you know, it's almost like you're, you're mothering it. This is your baby. This is something that you're growing, something that you're incubating, you know, so it's, it's a sense of really taking care of it. So this is what I have for you for this week, Aries. I'm sending you a bunch of love, light, healing, and protection. If you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Like, comment, Ugh, giving, giving me a thumbs up is liking it, but you know. 
Um, comment, subscribe, share if you want to. Let me know if this resonates with you. Have a great week and I will talk to you soon. We're going to move on to Leo. Hello, Leo. Leo, take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Leo babies for the week of February 20th through February 26th? Okay, so, so far, we have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Tower. All right. So, I do feel like that you are trying to have a new beginning in love, or you're trying to have some kind of new beginning with something that you love. This could be a person, it could be a job, it could be any situation, but you have love for it. And it's something that you want to move forward with. We do have the Two of Swords, which is a sense of you um, trying to follow your intuition, but you have a decision to make about this matter. Um, it might be something that you really don't want to face just yet, but it's something that you're just kind of holding yourself back and you're trying to feel things out. With the Page of Pentacles, is a sense of, okay, I am gathering how I'm going to move forward to make things steady. Um, I feel like that you're trying to get really good grounding. You're trying to get yourself stable. You're trying to get yourself secure. You're trying to have a safety net. Now, this could be monetarily, but this could also be mentally. This could also be emotionally because you are moving forward with something or wanting to move forward with something that you absolutely love. And so if your heart's on the line on any level, this is slowing you down. Like the page of pentacles is like, hey, I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to gather my information because I'm trying to guard myself. I'm trying to make sure that I am secure, that I am safe. We have the three of cups. So you could be getting advice from friends. You could be um, taking a step back where um, you're asking for advice. You're trying to ask for support or maybe you are getting support. Um, on some level, we do have the Four of Swords, which is a sense of resigning to a situation. But sometimes the Four of Swords is like, okay, you know what? I'm going to sit back and I'm going to relax when you shouldn't be sitting back and relaxing at all. And so it's like if you're pulling back from a certain situation and you just don't want to deal with it, here comes the tower. You're being forced to deal with a situation that I feel like you may have just been sweeping under the rug. Maybe you don't want to put the time and the effort into something. Maybe you are just not wanting to deal with something. If you have been going through a lot of shit lately... You don't feel like dealing with any of the drama. You don't feel like dealing with any of the bullshit. And if it's a repeat thing, then you're not trying to hear it. It's like you're, you're not trying to hear it. But we do have the tower moment coming up here. So something is going to come out of the blue. You're, it's going to be unexpected. But it's going to force you to rebuild things the way that you want to rebuild them. And that's the plus side about the tower. Because once it comes down, you do get to rebuild it the way that you want. You do get to do how, you know, you do get to do things how you want to do them. And that is the beauty of having the tower. So I see you, you know, um, 
trying to deal with the situation without truly dealing with it. It's almost like you're, you're waiting for it to unfold itself without any effort on your end. But there's going to be a moment where you're going to be forced to handle it. You're going to be forced to take care of it. So that's what I have for you for this week. We are going to pull some Oracle message cards. All right. Spirit, what else do you have for my Leo babies for this week? almost the whole deck so we're gonna go with it all right so spirit says you have the sun so after the tower there's gonna be brighter days ahead okay you're going to see everything for what it is you're going to see everything exposed and you're going to get happiness from this tower falling so even though it might be a little bit chaotic there's something good that's coming out of it we do have kindreds. So you could be meeting some people that, um, like when I saw the Three of Cups, you could be meeting some people who are being more supportive. So maybe that's what causes the tower to happen. You know, um, maybe you're meeting people that are being more supportive and you are connecting with people that you normally wouldn't connect with. Um, and maybe that's what starts the whole rebuilding thing and making you question what you have going on versus what you're about to get. So we do have gratitude, which is a reminder to be grateful for what you have. As human beings, we tend to go forward, go forward, go forward. We tend to, okay, this is what I want. And then once we achieve that, what do we do? We want something more. Gratitude is a reminder to kind of sit with, with where you already are. Just for a split second. Just be like, okay, you know what? Last year I wasn't here. Last year I was in this space. A few months ago I was in this space. But now I'm sitting here. So it's like paying attention to how much you've grown. We have unfamiliar territory. Is that what it says? Yes. Okay. So if you are meeting new people or, you know, like when that tower happens, you are going to be in a very unfamiliar type of space. Like maybe you're not dealing, you're not used to dealing with nice people, or maybe you're not dealing, not used to dealing with caring people. Um, we do have hope. You do have hope for something working out in your favor. But you still have that resigning feeling of, I'm not going to expect anything. And so it's a sense of, yeah, you hope it's going to turn out for the best. And you're trying not to think about anything else because, you know, whatever you think is what you bring to your own table. We do have storm. You're going to be going through some kind of storm because of the tower card. So, you know, this is just a reminder to... Be gracious and be thankful for everything that you're going through because it's a temporary thing. You know, everything is temporary. The storm is going to be temporary. We do have the father card. Some of you could be going through some things with your father or you could be going through certain things where, you know, you have some kind of father figure in your life. Somebody who's trying to guide you. Somebody who's trying to balance you out because we have the balance card here. So just keep in mind that, that through the storm, there's going to be this father figure that's going to help balance you out. Um, this could be a friend, could be actually your father, but it's somebody who is very structured and they can give you advice and they can be a really good sounding board. Um, but I feel like they're trying to give you balance and get you rooted and to get you to just be, you know, maybe a little bit more lighter when it comes to your heart. So that's what I have for you for this week, Leo. I am sending you a bunch of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week and I will talk to you soon. If you like your segment of the video, give me thumb, some thumbs up. 
um, comment down below if you like. Let me know if this resonated with you. Make sure you subscribe and share if you want to. We're going to move on to Sagittarius. All right. Hi, Seji. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, Spirit, what do we got for the week of February 20th through the 26th for Sagittarius? got for Sagittarius Spirit for this week of February 20th. I saw one flip over, so all right. So far it is the two of cups. You could be having a heart to heart with somebody. Could be a Capricorn, doesn't have to be. We have the Queen of Cups. Could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. Somebody that you're very emotional about. Could be holding back your feelings. We also have the Queen of Wands. I feel like the Queen of Wands is you. Because that is you. Um, Alright. And the Nine of Pentacles. So I do feel like you're trying to have a heart to heart with somebody. Um... Now, this person could be somebody from your past. It could be somebody who is very, could be sabotaging. You could be just dealing with the Capricorn, but you don't have to be uh, dealing with one. Um, or it could be like the devil energy. Um, the energy is very sabotaging, very um, toxic. It could be a relationship from your past. Um, but you could be having a heart to heart with them kind of reaching out to them for some reason or them reaching out to you but it's a sense of just really connecting with this person um the devil is all about reminding you of a certain situation that could be extremely toxic now this energy could be within yourself like maybe you're trying to deal with past behaviors or maybe you're trying to deal, deal with your inner child whatever the case may be um this person could also be the queen of cups so the queen of cups is very giving very nurturing um but this could be something um that you had from your past something that was very toxic something that um, maybe you weren't expecting it to come up out of the blue, but I do feel like with the four of cups, you are keeping your feelings to yourself. Even though you might be having a heart to heart with them, maybe they're reaching out to you because they want to talk to you about something. Um, maybe they want advice to kind of try to pull you in. Maybe they are, um, using an excuse to contact you or, you know, like, Oh, let's see what Sagittarius is doing. Let me tell them about this, this, and this. So I feel like this connection was really toxic and it was something from your past. But with the Four of Cups, it's almost like you're seeing through it. It's almost like you're like, yeah, I'm listening to you. But I'm still holding myself back. Like maybe you're listening to what they have to say. You might be showing empathy. You might even be showing sympathy. But it's the point of... Um, you're leaving it on the surface. It just is what it is and you're just leaving things on the surface and you're like, yeah, I'm just going to leave you right there. We do have the Queen of Wands, which is your energy. The Queen of Wands doesn't put up with any shit. And so I feel like the Queen of Wands is going to see through the situation. Um, it's almost like, yeah, I know this is what you're doing, but I, it's not going to work. It's almost a sense of... Uh, you're just really calling them out on their own bullshit. With the Nine of Pentacles, it's a sense of you standing in your own empowerment. That you got to tell somebody no that used to be toxic to you. Or somebody who has been toxic to you. And so, it's like you're choosing yourself over them. 
You're choosing yourself over their situation. And so you are still working and focusing on your home of balancing things out for you. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is basically like a glow up card. It's a wish fulfillment card. So I, I almost feel like you're freeing yourself from this energy entirely, but you're doing it in a very nice way. Um, it's just that you're like, yeah, I'm listening to you, but I'm, I'm going to stay over here. Like, I'm still going to stay in my lane. I'm not going to worry about you. And, you know, thanks for calling. <laughs> you know, it's a sense of you really uh, paying attention to what you want with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, you're working on stuff within yourself and you're trying to grow and heal within yourself. And it's almost like you don't have time for any of the sabotaging bullshit. Even though it may start, the conversation may start off very endearing. You may even have missed this person or this person has, is showing that they are, you know, missing you. Maybe they're stroking your ego. Maybe you're stroking theirs. But overall, the conversation, you end up kind of being like, okay, yep, that's enough. So I'm going to move back on to my own independence and I'm just not going to deal with this. So we're going to move on to some Oracle message cards. All right. Spirit, what else do you have to say to my Sagittarius babies for this week? strength card you're building up strength and confidence we have also duality and we have release so I feel like that this contact with this person is something that's had to be done because maybe before they contacted you or maybe before you reached out to them you might have been holding something um, for this person and so this conversation or this um uh, yeah, this conversation has to take place in order for you to do some releasing. So it's a sense of I had the conversation and I am going to, um, now that I had it, it's not what I thought it was and I'm going to release it. There could be something that's being said that you are just really trying to let go. You are building strength and courage out of the situation. Duality is a reminder of Look at who you were before and look at who you are now. Are you the same person who is truly connected to this person that is reaching out to you or this person that you're reaching out to them? Duality is all about how you've grown from one person to another. We all have like 5,000 personalities in a lifetime. Every time you ascend, every time you learn something, you can't unlearn it. You become a whole different person. You see things in a whole different way. There's no way that you can go back to seeing the world the same way once you learn a lesson. And that's how you are dealing with this person as well. There's something coming up that you're actually seeing something about this person. And you're like, you know what? It wasn't all that. It wasn't exactly what I thought it was. It's almost like you might have built them more up in, their, in your mind than how they truly were. And you're seeing things for what they are. You know, you are recognizing the two worlds between the heart and the mind. And, you know, that duality is something that you are facing. It's like, okay, yeah, there's duality, but now it's coming together. And it's almost like you may have seen two different pictures of this person, but now it's coming together as one, as, you know, somebody or something that you want to release. And so it's like, once you release it, you're opening up something else within yourself. You're opening up a new future. You're opening up, you know, things that you want to do or who you want to be with. You might be um, building up trust within yourself. You might be working on yourself. We do have Dreamer. And Dreamer is a reminder to not lose your focus of what you want in your life. Does this person really fit that bill? 
you know? So it's like, what is it that you're really missing? It's like if this person hadn't shown up for you or if this person was full of drama or if they were this or if they were that, then do you really want or need that person in your life to fulfill your focus? You know, this is about like really um, keeping in mind who you want in your life to help you build up your dreams and make you go towards what you need to go towards, give you encouragement to do what it is that you want to do in your life. This is about keeping that hope alive that you can actually succeed at whatever it is that you want to do. See your own value. See your own worth. And then go from there. And I do feel like that you're working towards something where you can like really dream and make things happen for yourself. So that's what I have for you for this week, Sagittarius. I am sending you a bunch of love, light, healing, and protection. If you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment, subscribe, share if you want to. Let me know if it resonated with you. I will talk to you soon, and I hope you have a great week.